Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today I am reviewing Pinky James from the Rainbow Shadow Hides Series 3. I got her at Target for $9 on clearance. Very good deal. Because I like her, and I wanted to get her, but I don't absolutely love her. But for $9.99, that is a great deal, so I would definitely get her. So yeah, um... This is her box. Since she's like kind of video game themed, she has like all like little gaming stuff around here. Like she's got a Game Boy, cat headphones, a text bubble that says play, Tetris, right, left controllers, a D pad, more Tetris, and then like lives. And yeah, pretty cool. Although the Shadow High thing is, I wish it was like higher up with. Well, her box is like that too. Okay, I don't know why I said that. Also, sorry I'm not ready today. I didn't get dressed. Well, finished getting dressed or anything. But that's besides the point. <laughs> and on the back of her box, she has, in my opinion, the most unfortunate ones on her back. We got her and then this guy and this girl. I know we reviewed her, but that was Abby that had her and not me. I don't really like these two. I have all the other ones in the series now besides these two, so... Oh, that is very... Oh, no, I don't think the Shadow High is crooked, but it makes it look kind of crooked, because this is crooked. Okay, and it says, The students at Shadow High always let their true colors shine. Hashtag Shadow High. So it was crooked on the back of the other one, but I feel like... So yeah, let's get her out of the box. And here she is, out of the box. She's actually really pretty. I like her, like, better. Like, I actually like touching her. Um, but her outfit still... In my opinion, it's a little bit of a mess. Cause so, yeah, here's her face. I I love her face a lot. Like she's another example. Her base style is great. I like her outfit better than Scarlet's. I can't stop playing with her. I love when dolls have microbraids. They're so. I love the texture of them, and it's so fun. Is there? There's other. Yeah. Um. What's that? The Vanessa chick. I can't see her from here, but I know she's over there. She has microbraids. There's somebody else, too, I feel like. Oh, the purple series 2 Shadow High Girl has them. Yeah. So, here's her face. <laughs> she has, like, a pink wing. Or black wing. It's like, pink wing eyeshadow. Yeah, I'm really good with makeup, too. Her makeup's really good. I like it a lot. And she has, like, what weird, like, dark pink bubble-looking things on the top. Um, she has brown eyebrows. Pink lips. Really pretty. I like this case mold that they use on her a lot. Yeah, and like I said, my is with different shades of pink in it. I like how they're still doing that. I don't know if on the new, like, Rainbow World ones they have the, the different sh shades of the color in their hair. I'm hoping they do, but I have no idea. Um, then she has, it looks like, almost like a zipper pull with shoelaces on it as her earrings. They're kind of cute, though, but I don't really know what they're supposed to be. For her outfit, she has, like, a pink denim top with a zipper on it. And these sleeves, which have, like, mattress pattern on them. It says Shadow High, S-H-A, and then it's an eclipse because that was the big thing when Shadow High came out, but, like, nothing ever happened with it. So it's anti-sparkle on there. Then the D-O-W part of Shadow here. And then it says anti-sparkle again now, because... Super anti sparkle <laughs> And, um, her skirt, I swear to God somebody has this skirt. I thought it was Emmy, but I looked at it, the skirt she's wearing, and I don't think it had the safety pins on it, but I thought somebody had this skirt already. Maybe in a different shade. But it's a pink pleated skirt with safety pins on it. Her shoes, I think somebody has these too in a different color. I might be so wrong, but... They're like pink translucent at the top and the bottom. They get thick and black and they say SH, SH, SH all around. And then on the front, there's two silver SHs. And they have zippers on the front, I'll show that. So yeah, she's cute. And before I get into her accessories, I just want to talk about the future of Rainbow High for a sec and Shadow High. So since they're trying to target more her children, I and I watched the episodes that came out yesterday. They were not very good. They're what they reposted yesterday, the 
Rainbow World episodes, they were not good. They just weren't good. Um, so yeah, they're obviously targeting more towards children with the dolls and the slime and everything. And there has been Shadow High leaks so far, but they're not amazing. And they look pretty cheap, in my opinion. So I'm... If I love Rainbow High, and I have a whole shelf of them right there, so it's not... not and I love Shadow High, so it's not like this is coming from a place of hatred. But I feel like if Rainbow High is going out, I'd rather them just stop now and not release any more dolls. So then they could have gone out with a bang with the Fantastic Fashion dolls. And not die slowly and painfully like Monster High did with like G2 or how um I don't know I feel like I had another analogy but I can't remember but like yeah Monster High like was going really strong for a few years like Rainbow High then we got where is she excuse her she's naked she came with this, the high school that's the only reason I have her but this one like G1-ish Frankie with no articulation. She came with like the stickers and stuff and that one blue dress, I have it. She's just not wearing it right now. <laughs> so like, I don't know if that made any sense, but my point is I'd rather Rainbow High just stop if they're gonna keep making bad dolls and the dolls that they're not putting effort into and that don't represent what the brand used to be because Rainbow High was a very fashionable brand that did take some risks. Like, Shadow High, the first, like, all-black-and-white doll line was kind of insane. I was like, this is crazy, but I love it. Like, I never expected a doll line to do anything like that. And I really liked it, and it's very sad to see something that I liked that much go down the drain. Like, the new Rainbow High episodes, like, genuinely made me and Abby mad to watch them because what did they do with the characters? I don't like those that was not the Rainbow High I know. That was something entirely different. If they want to revert to the Poopsie Slime Surprise days, then they can do that as a separate thing. I don't like slime toys or slime or anything like that. They can do that as their own thing. I know saying this, I'm not the target demographic for Rainbow High Dolls. I am an 18 year old guy and these are made for like 7 year old girls. I get that but it's just kind of sad to see it happen to them and I'm sure some of you guys can agree. Anyways we'll get into her accessories there. I, kind of, I like to have some talks like that sometimes like I watch um My World Melissa's videos um and I really like them. I've been watching her since back in the day when she made videos with her son, so a very long time. And I love how her channel has evolved over the years, and I love just how she has, like, nice conversations all the time. And it makes me really, like, I know I don't actually personally know her, but it makes me feel like she's, like, a friend of mine. <laughs> so hopefully my videos could do that for someone someday. Um, so yeah, here's her stand. It's another pink one. I feel like I have so many pink stands. There's an SH on it with the just a normal Shadow High stand. She does come with these pink glasses with white pearls. I'm going to put them on her and see what they look like. Maybe I'll put them on her. <laughs> um, no, I don't like them, but they're not the, <laughs> they're not the worst um, I've ever seen in Rainbow High glasses. So. Okay. And she also has... A cat ears headset. So put on her too. I don't know, should I, do I put it like over her hair like that or <laughs> would she even be able to hear it? Because I feel like it will kind of, I don't know, it looks fine like that too. But I'm not a big fan of it, so she's just not going to wear that either. She does come, this is kind of cute, I like this. Um, a Shadow High Nintendo Switch. It looks like she's playing order I don't really know but it has a picture of her on it and there's like shoes and bags and stuff and maybe she's playing a shadow high game and then the ultimate guide to chromax book which looks like it's some sort of roblox <laughs> no. 
And the most respectful way to her, she definitely looks like she'd be a huge Roblox fan. And if you're a Roblox fan out there, some of my friends are Roblox fans too. That's not an insult, it's just like an observation. Um, but it's really disappointing because I saw this when Abby got this doll. There's like a layout and format for everything in here. But all of the words are like lorem ipsum and all that like Photoshop basic like didn't type anything stuff. So it just makes it look like they forgot. Like when they did that on her books, I could get that because these are like really long books and they're really small. But like they should have just left the pages blank if they were going to put like fun looking formatting everything and like see like that's like not even like the title of the thing is in a language like not even just English or French or Spanish or anything it's just like gibberish <laughs> well this one says build the rainbow I guess but then everything else on it isn't even words so, John says pixel heart I guess so then this one says absolutely nothing <laughs> Yeah, I think that's the best. Let me get some shit. So that's her. I actually really like her. For nine ninety nine, cannot go wrong. I think I'm getting new shelves soon, which will be nice because no room to put any more dolls. Like I already had to move some Rainbow High and Shadow High dolls all the way up top. I got my Fantastic Clash and Poppy and the two packs Sunny and Luna standing there because they both are amazing. Standing together and there's some in the back you can't even see. And I just don't have space, especially for Shadow High Dolls, because the first two shelves was my Shadow High Dolls, but I have two Series 3 ones down there, and then the two I just opened on the floor because they don't have any room. The problem of being a dog collector is you never have space. And I know that's not just a me thing. Or stands. AliExpress is really good for getting stands. Just saying, these were 10 of these for really cheap. It was pretty nice. Anyways, I'm pretty much just rambling at this point. Thank you guys for watching. Comment down below, do you have any of the Series 3 Shadow High? What are your feelings about the future of Rainbow High and the Shadow High? Um, I don't know. Comment whatever you want. Just say something if you want. I like replying to comments. It's, it's fun. I like seeing what you guys have to say. Even if you say you hate this doll, um, but you're happy that I love her, you can comment, you can comment that too. Just, just something, I like replying in the comments. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like if you want to, comment if you want to, subscribe if you want to, share if you want to, turn on post notifications if you want to, and let me know what other video ideas do you want to see. I have some planned, but if there's stuff you want to see, I'd like to do those too. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!